Hello, my name is Subhash Rai. I am 10 years old and in third grade at the Montessori Academy in the Rochester City School District. I'm a student of Mrs. McDonald of Rochester Roots. I attend here urban sustainability laboratory classes during the school day. My principal, Mrs. Green, and had an idea for an after-school science program run by Rochester Roots called Bringing Science to Life. She knew, I, she knew I wanted to be a scientist, so I signed up. This program allowed, allowed us to create our own entrepreneurial businesses to improve community well-being. I wanted to learn about electricity, so I decided my business would be to, create, to build a sensor pad that would improve the well-being of plant systems. I made an influence model of how my sensor pad would work. I use a sustainability framework to better understand the system patterns, paradigms, boundaries, and impacts of my system. Mr. Sweet of Sustainable Intelligence introduced me to RIT's Mr. Clark. He brought in a team of electrical engineer students to help us. Together, we, we made a plant sensor, two phone apps, and a 3D printer robot to use in our horticulture lab. I learned that you can use a sensor to measure the temperature, moisture, and pH of the soil. Also, the temperature of the air and how much light the plant is receiving. The after-school program ended in December, but in January, I still wanted to learn more. My friend JJ and I went to RIT to meet Dr. Bob Bowman. He really knows about electricity. He showed me how to build my own sensor using analog devices, discovery model. Here's a picture of my friend and my friend JJ and I making a LED sensor with a breadboard. JJ made an influence model and sustainability framework too. Later, we did a video conference with using blue jeans with Dr. Bowman. He helped us make our own moisture sensor. There are a lot more entrepreneurial projects in development at my school. Some with RIT engineer students. We presented those at science fair at our at our school using a PhD poster format. Here are some of our businesses that we are develop, developing. Adaptable high tunnel, horticulture chest lab, lip balm and skin sample assembly line, sensor pad network, sherbet infusions, Soil dyed t shirts, paper basket that follows the biomimicry of paper wops nest, worm bin, phone apps for growing healthy plants, heirloom story seeds and the perfect stew game are in early stages of development. Our community members really liked everything we are designing with our community patterns. In our Bringing Science to Life after school program, JJ designed a composting robot. His project has been chosen by RIT to, to go into the fall sem semester sensor design team project. I have only in, I have only been in this country for five years. My family and I came to the United States from Nepal. My co my community is very important to me because they help me overcome challenges. Now your challenge is to tell us how you could help improve our community and our businesses. We have a potential echo district in Northeast Rochester, which is the fifth poorest city in the nation. The echo district includes the Montessori Academy, the Rochester Public Market, and several poor neighborhoods where, where the city is taking down lots of houses, houses and leaving lots of unused lands. Here's a map drawn by landscape architect Mr. Robinson. The Montessori Academy is in the middle. Within the Echo Districts, we imagine houses with energy, 
efficient heat pumps, solar energy, a high tunnel, rainwater collection, and, and urban gardens. Here's the sustainable, sustainable house drawn by architect Mr. Mosin. My friends and I want to integrate our businesses with the Echo District to help low-income families and the community will become well. Here's a picture of how we would do that. We need your input on how to improve our community well-being. Please tell us how what, how what you engineer will impact sociological, ecological, and technological systems to improve our community. Since those systems co-create and co-involve, please tell us how they w will impact each other. Next, we want to tell us we, we want you to tell us how to, it will impact seven well-being outcomes. Education, e ecosystem, employment, financial, health, public safety, and sense of communicate, c community. Here's a system dynamics we modeled, we, we created with Navid Naja from Arizona State University that you, could, can, you can use as a reference. Finally, we want you to think about your engineered solutions over the course of five or more years. What will the impact of your system be over year one, year three, year five, year 10, and year 15? Here's a worksheet you can use. Please use a functional success statement like we do. Here's an example on the slide. We do not yet know how to solve the equation, but, in com but it communicates clearly what the system influences are. There are copies of this available for your teams. You could present your responses through drawing objects or skits. Be creative. Judges will made up of one-third ESW stuff on on third professionals professionals and one third communicate community members the judges will rotate to each table to answer any questions in review please tell us how you would you deploy new sensors or a new app what new services could one of those businesses offer to na nearby households what new businesses might be offered how can you tell, help the community? I look forward to answering your questions and judging your responses during your presentations at lunch. Next week, I'll review your responses with my friends and Mrs. Green back at the Montessori Academy. Thank you.